Welcome to our YouTube series of HubDoc training. Perfect if you're starting to use HubDoc for your small business, couple with zero. So we've got a few short videos taking you through the basics of HubDoc, watch them in order, at your own pace, or dip in and out to brush up on your skills. All right, so we've done the hard bit of getting your bills and invoices into HubDoc. Well, to be fair, it wasn't really that difficult, was it? But now let's take a look at how we send these into Zero. In HubDoc, on the left side script, left hand side of the screen, you will see the docs section, uh, where you will see your recent docs you've uploaded. If you click one of them, and you'll either see a copy of the doc, or if it was a picture you took, you'll see that. And you might also see some other interesting things, like the tips in your slippers or your coffee in the background. Now, what we need to do is complete the information on the right-hand side. You'll notice that some, if not all, has been completed for you. Now that is the HubDoc magic working right there. It will be able to tell what's the date, amount, etc. So most of it, you're just going to need to confirm. Now you don't have to fill in all the information here. It depends how detailed you want to be. But the ones with the red star next to it, like supplier, date, total amount, you do need to fill in. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be pushed through to zero. So this, this here is the transaction details. Now this down here is the destination details which you need to complete, in which case, in this, in this example, it's zero, because that's where we're pushing the invoice. Now for publish as, nine, out of, nine times out of 10, you're gonna want this to be uh, a purchase invoice, because um, generally speaking, you're gonna be pushing through purchase invoices through here, not sales invoices, although you can do that if you want to. Um, and for status, generally speaking, you're going to want it awaiting approval. If you send it through as draft or awaiting approval, then you're just going to waste time. Once it's gone into zero, you've got to go into a zero and then approve um, the invoice, which is, in my opinion, just a bloody waste of time. So what's the point? Put it as awaiting payment. Now the contact, um, if you've pushed an invoice through before, it'll pick that up automatically. But what this is going to do is this will search the contacts um, on your zero. So you can see all the contacts in zero here. Now, to find the right one, if you just start typing the name and it will pop up and then click it, and there you go. Now for really easy invoices, that's pretty much gonna be it and you can click publish. But for more detailed invoices, where there are more than two items which you wanna to put to two different categories in zero, you can add line items by clicking multiple. So, if we said the part of the invoice was for rent, and the other part was for IT. IT software and consumables. Save and close. There you go. So, that's going to push the invoice into zero with part for rent and part for IT. And then you click publish and you're done. That bill will then appear into zero. So if you click over to zero and refresh, you will see it's come in. And there is the bill. And you can see it's split between rent and IT. And you can also see a copy of the invoice attached. And there we have it. And that's it with a copy of the bill attached to. This works the same for all invoices, regardless of whether you snap, drag and drop, or email them into HubDoc. And it's as easy as that, folks. That's pushing bills into your zero using HubDoc. Check out our next video in our HubDoc training series, where we look at other cool stuff that HubDoc can do. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, do us a massive favor and hit the like button or subscribe to our channel to see future videos.